Hi, I thought I'd bring you a video about vitamin D. There's been a lot of talk about uh, vitamin D levels in your blood um, and the positive effects uh, in relation to COVID. I mean, there are several studies out there now that say that the severity of uh, COVID symptoms is uh, inversely proportional to the amount of vitamin D in the blood. So look that up. Um, you know, there's plenty of videos out there on YouTube. And uh, if you want to research the studies themselves, uh, they, there's more and more information coming out each month on that. So what I've done is uh, I've tried to increase my vitamin D levels just as a good health precaution and, uh, you know, with the pandemic going on. So I wanted to make sure I had the optimum levels for myself. And how did I do that? What you're looking at is, uh, is a chart of normal vitamin D levels in the blood and that ranges from about 30 to 100 um, and I think these are nanograms per, per uh, milliliter uh, is the units but what I've been able to do is drive mine up to the top of the scale and you can see it's at 94 on a scale of 100 and that's where I'd like to keep it just for optimum health and I think I've read a few things around um, you know, people saying and doctors saying that uh, above 50 on this scale is, is optimum. So how did I do that? I'll share with you what I bought. Um, so I would encourage you to look in the description box, box below the video uh, regarding how you can purchase this item off Amazon. I'd ask you to use the link to do that because that's how uh, I compensate myself for making these videos and sharing this information. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about vitamin D and uh, what I've done to drive my levels up here. So I actually take a product uh, from Bronson Vitamins. It's this combination of vitamin K2 and D3. Um, this is, uh, it's 120 count. Um, again, the link to purchase this is in the uh, description box below the video. Uh, the amount of this is 5,000 international units per day of vitamin D3. Uh, I also make a point to get about 30 minutes of sun every day, uh, try to be out and doing something outdoors where I'm getting sunlight or direct sunlight for about 30 minutes a day. So that combined with this amount of vitamin D has helped me really raise my levels. Now everybody's different and everybody reacts differently to, uh, to, to vitamins and, and nutrition. So uh, that's what worked for me. Now for you, it may be completely different. Uh, now, I would say you may want to consult a nutritionist or a doctor before you actually uh, go out and do this. But these levels uh, that I've taken, I've had no negative effect and, uh, and it's, and it's uh, helped me tremendously in terms of uh, getting that vitamin D level up into an optimal area that I believe is right for me. So um, that's it. I just want to make a quick video, bring this information out to you guys. Um, if you would like and subscribe, I'll be periodically adding new information and new videos here. Uh, and don't forget to hit the link uh, in the description box below the video and uh, take a look at these on Amazon. Thanks.